Welcome back my dear subscribers. Uh, hope you will be satisfied with uh, my uploading uh, frequency. Maybe every day I will try to upload a new video clip because now I have a little bit more time before I go uh, to trip around the Europe. Uh, anyway, uh, today I'm gonna talk about the very common issue with the uh, free hub bodies, especially the ones uh, who use aluminium materials uh, such as Campagnolo, uh, also have uh, Formula uh, and many other brands, even the Hope which is kind of high uh, class uh, uh, brand. But uh, I'm gonna say that Campagnolo doesn't have so much troubles because the edges, uh, the surface of each individual uh, contact area with the sprocket is much more uh, bigger uh, and it doesn't leave the traces inside. Mostly this is happening if you have like system of uh, SRAM or Shimano uh, who's got very very uh, shallow uh, teeth on the on the free hub body and why this is basically happening uh, it's happening because some of the sprockets on the market uh, are not fixed they are not one piece uh, connected with the pins together but they just maybe they have the last three or two of them they have uh, that it's one piece maybe have a uh, aluminium uh, a holder uh, underneath but mostly uh, just recently I got a case of uh, enduro mountain bike Lapierre uh, who got formula uh, free hub body and the hub and it was very hard to get it off because it was so so embedded inside the free hub body like you can see on the on the front picture of this movie clip and of course it's hard to uh, take it off you need to have double chain a holder one you fix and another you pull it back and then you can reassemble it so how you can fix this issue basically the problem is that this is a bad engineering in general so why people use aluminum free hubs everybody knows it because they want to have very light wheel set very light hub and they are com competing with many other uh, brands each other so I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue forever let's say this one okay it's a metal case because I don't have any aluminium right now and this one in here what you see uh, this wire is basically a welding wire one and a half millimeter thick this is very high tensile uh, high tensile strength uh, steel it's very hard to bend. Uh, I did this on the on the press, hydraulic press. But anyway, you can use any other materials. It can be square, uh, hardened steel. It doesn't matter. So you just need to choose before you do anything on the hub. You need to fix all the the damage. You need to grind with a hand grinder uh, grinder on the on the surface that it have a smooth release that the sprocket can put on easily and in this case I already prepared in advance uh, what you should do with the, each individual sprocket now if you have one piece probably that's not a big problem if you have a sprocket which has a lot of uh, singular or individual uh, 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 sprockets like this uh, and they are not connected uh, it is useless to to drill through the all because you you will you will have to invest a lot of money because this is also not just casual steel and it will, it's hard to drill so the easiest way is this one for instance in comparison I will just take it off if we take a look uh, both of the shapes so now uh, in this case where you have a number I'm gonna take it I usually take I usually take uh, 
uh, and make modification on each sprocket on the I don't know we'll zoom in the right way and we need to go closer yeah it seems shit happens all the time with this camera and everything it seems it cannot zoom but anyway in here where you have a number uh, I use the hand uh, hand grinder and just make one and a half millimeter uh, groove it's not a groove it's just remove the material from the edge of of this one uh, and we can see in here it's still full so if you have let's say 10 speed sprockets let's say eight eight or seven you need to do uh, modification on it uh, you just use the hand grinder you need to have a good uh, filling for it I recommend I'm using this for fixing uh, one and a half di uh, millimeter in diameter uh, welding welding uh, wire which is very very you cannot bend it so uh, after all the sprockets are done you just simply uh, position them let me see where is the oh, on this side you place it on it then you find where you make that groove just imagine that you're putting a lot of sprockets on the on each other and then you simply place just a second it's hard to hold and filming and everything together so now you see now it's in the position and this this metal rod uh, you just then cut at the distance that it will satisfy your needs and put all the sprockets on this rod so now what you're gonna prevent you're gonna prevent that each individual sprocket will not pressing directly on the aluminum free hub it will press on this uh, high tensile strength steel bar so this steel bar eventually it will not even if it's if it's uh, let's say it getting some some deformations it will not harm your free body uh, so when you want to uh, remove the entire sprocket you will just pull it off from this system entirely you will not have any damage whatsoever on the free hub the only damage it is on the free hub it's from the previous pastime that you had this issue but nevertheless this is the cheapest uh, possible way to fix this issue even if you buy a new bike I suggest if you have aluminum free hub you can ask the customer or if you if you already know it's aluminum that you just suggest them if you don't have a, a tool that you will insert this one but you need uh, uh, the entire set of the bike that you will make some modifications because you don't want to have any additional damage uh, on the on the uh, free hub because this shit happens unfortunately so uh, it will cost you maybe a dollar or two just buy some uh, let's say half a meter of this uh, welding rod uh, and this is how you fix it basically I'm always suggesting to 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 invest as as little as possible because this will save your uh, nerves it will save your money it will save uh, any additional damage because mechanics if you if if I say this that all mechanics in workshop should supposed to do this when the bike is new they would say I'm insane because uh, they would say why would we do that it need to be broken so customer will have to change as soon as possible and they make some story that the customer is so strong that he can destroy these hubs that he needs maybe more expensive uh, hub and maybe that will satisfy his needs 
It's just mar marketing bullshit. I'm just showing you what the real problem is. The primary problem, if, if we make a summary in here, is uh, free hub bodies are made from aluminum just for uh, uh, save some weight. That's it. But it's bad engineering. And no one will not tell you that even you with the new bike, especially even one year old bike, still have an issue like this. Depending on what terrain you drive, uh, ride a bike and so on. But anyway, uh, I hope you got the point. If you have any additional questions and don't forget to subscribe. More subscribers I will get. More videos and more um, similar videos I can publish. Because my main goal is to, to save your time, to save your money and that you can learn something uh, or you can do anything by yourself. So thanks again and bye.